Alright guys, today I'm going to show you a GTA Easter egg that you can do in GTA Online or the Story Mode. And the first thing you want to do is pull out your phone and go to the I Find search bar and type in Bigfoot. And once you've typed in Bigfoot, you want to go down to the letter Z and just hover over it. And the next thing you want to do is close your phone as fast as possible. Once you've done that, you're going to want to get a helicopter. So you can go to this spot that I've marked right here, or you can go to the airport, or, or really you can go anywhere as long as you get a helicopter, it'll make it much easier to get to these caves that we're about to go to. Make sure you have sticky bombs before you get to these caves, because you're going to need them. I sped up where the first cave is because I had, a, had some trouble finding it, but as you can see on the map, I marked it, and I'm going to show you again here in a second, just in case you missed that. So as you can see, here it is on the map, and this is the first cave. You're gonna want a sniper and some sticky bombs. You need three sticky bombs in total. Uh, I had some trouble finding this first cave, but you'll actually see the writing on the side of the mountain, as you can see it right there, it's in red. Um, this cave is probably the more creepy one. Uh, it says give thanks, but what you want to do with your sniper is right above the letter I, you want to basically dot the I and give thanks. The next thing you want to do is pull out your sticky bombs, and there's a sun, there's like a picture of a sun in the back of this cave, and you basically want to throw a sticky bomb right in the middle of it, and make sure you do not blow it up. The next cave, as you can see on the map right here, it's in Tongva Hills, and I just marked it right there. And you can actually see it coming up. You can see the cave in the side of the mountain. This is a much deeper cave, but there's no riding or anything. You're going to need two sticky bombs for this one. Alright, for the first sticky bomb, there's this little kind of ledge-like thing in the cave right here. And you want to place it just right on that. And then for the next sticky bomb, you want to get it just right in the very back. As you can see, kind of there's like a corner back there. You want to just throw it up there. And once again, do not explode these until I tell you to. The next thing you want to do is get a RV slash, it's called the Journey in this game. You can get it up here, but I actually have my own. I bought one uh, just to make this video a little easier. So I went ahead and called Pegasus and got my Journey, uh, aka the RV. Now you, you can blow these sticky bombs up. As you might have heard there, the sticky bombs actually blow up. Um, you can only blow it up once you have gotten in a journey and started the journey slash RV. Now there's some, a bunch of forest up here in this area and you want to just drive to that. Uh, I'll show it on the map once I get here. Here it is on the map. There's the first cave that we went to, and here's the second cave we went to. And here's where we are now. Okay, so it needs to be night for this to work. And in the game, at 1930, it is officially night because all the headlights will automatically turn on. So right there, my headlights automatically turned on, and now what you want to do 
is you got to honk your horn as the SOS Morse code. As you heard, that was the SOS Morse code. And the next thing you want to do is you want to just get on this pile of logs here and just look out into the woods. It may take a second for this to work, but once it does, you will see the Bigfoot. So there it was. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll probably be uploading some more Easter eggs if I can find them. But that's all for this time, and peace out till next time.